keep walking, really, but I'm right behind you. What part of Leave Me Alone do you not get? How did you know I went to see Dr. Hilliard and I was at his office, huh? I'm psychic. What is your connection with him? Well, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? You know what? It matters to me. Because I'm supposed to be a private detective, remember? Well, get a dog or a hobby, Aiden. Do something useful with your life. Listen, you bring my cover and I want to know why. I was there, okay? I was in his office when you showed up. It was me that got him to call Kendall in the first place. And now, thanks to you, Dr. Hilliard is off the case. Now, because of you, Dr. Hilliard is not going to help Spike. So thank you very much. Big, dumb you walks into Hilliard's office, and here we are, busted. Well, at least now it makes sense. Oh, good. I'm glad it makes sense to someone. You know, I had this whole thing under control. I, I wrote the doc a big check. Spike was going to get help. It doesn't help. matter how many checks you write. You could write a million checks, and we'd still be right here. Why don't you tell that to Spike? Oh, wait, you can't. He's deaf. You can't carry on like this, Greenlee, all right? It has to stop, not just for them, but for your sake. What do you know, Aiden? I mean, have you ever been responsible for anyone but yourself? This isn't about me, is it? Spike had a chance with Hilliard. Maybe. And I had a chance to help, so I took it. Well, why don't you just send Kendall the doctor's information? Or better still, you could call Ryan and give him Hilliard's CV. No. If they knew that Hilliard came from me in any way, shape, or form, they would have blown it off. Kendall would have spit on me. <sighs> you, you, you don't know that. Yeah, I do. It doesn't matter now. It's... It's over. You really wanted this, didn't you? Have you heard anything I've said? I listen to everything you say. Liar. No, not this time. I screwed up. Does that make you happy? Yeah. What do you think? Do I look happy? I walked into a situation full of unknowns, and I got busted. I should have been way more prepared. So this is about you, then? I made a mistake. Right, I forgot. Perfect, Aiden. Well, you should try my life. I make mistakes all the time. What are you doing? I'm going to go for a swim. Ten Ks. That's what I do when I screw up. Me? I just grab a bottle of tequila and make an ass of myself. It's about 200 yards out there. That's when I remember. Remember what? Not to make another mistake. You're really serious about this. Care to share? No, nah, not really. Come on, I told you mine, you tell me yours. Okay, when I was in SAS training, I had this bastard of a captain. And he would take our worst fear, and he would punish us with it. What was yours? Swimming in lakes. Like Loch Ness Monster or something? Eels. I can't stand eels. <laughs> You're kidding. That's what you're afraid of? Listen, have you ever had a little sea snake swim up your shorts? Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no. Okay, I got it. I got it. You're right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so whenever I screwed up, I had to swim 10 k's in the lake in the middle of the night. So I'm not the only one who punishes myself. And ever since then, if I want to remind myself the price of making a mistake, I go for a long, hard swim. Minus the yards. That's harsh. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> you really are uh, one of those James Bond types. Something like that. So what's the deal? You put a bullet in a man's head and throw on a tux, play some poker. We didn't always wear a tux. Oh, that's a shame. You look stunning. Did you ever kill anyone? Let's just say this, only the bad people got hurt. And this one of us made a mistake. Did you? <laughs> so that I, I screwed up today 
But at least no one died. All right? Where'd you get those? I swam to the yacht club, went to the snack bar, and then I walked back. <laughs> that was fast. You've got to be fast these days. You want one or not? Um, yeah, sure, thank you. You're welcome. So, when you were Mr. Secret Agent Man, how many people did you kill? Oh, we still on that one, are we? Well, it's not every day that you meet someone who's done that. Plus, it's the only thing I think that's interesting about you. <laughs> you are so charming. Thank you. You're welcome. So, how many? I was a soldier, and I did what I was trained to do. And it didn't bother you? My country needed me. My conscience never bothered me with what was, what was after me. But when the wrong people got hurt, when the wrong people died, it's not so easy. It's kind of like crashing your car and making a little boy deaf. I mean, no one died, but it's like me and her just kids, and now. Now they're struggling because of me. I mean, I know they're not soldiers. They're just little children. You can't go back. Yeah, but imagine if you could. I mean, I'd change so much. You? Maybe. I really wanted to help Spike. Well, at least he still has a chance. Sometimes they don't, you know. Do you want to talk about it? I'd rather not. I mean, I, I don't know what war is like. I, I've lost friends, but not like that. Who says they were friends? Oh, I'm sorry. I just, you seem like you're responsible or... Blame yourself for the death of a child. I really don't want to talk about it. It was a long time ago. Not so long, you you still remember. Well, how do you forget? What's the matter? You don't like processed meat? Just because I haven't finished the whole thing yet doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. Did you ever hear about the uh, the guy that competed for the world record in hot dog eating? <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, I think I missed that one. This guy, um, he ended up getting arthritis in his jaw. You're kidding, like a sports-related injury? Like a sports-related injury. <laughs> like Dennis Alvo. <laughs> his whole life revolved around shoving hot dogs down his throat, and it got to the point where even when he stuck a pretzel in this gob, the guy was in pain. Gob? <laughs> Did I hear that right? <laughs> sure. You laugh at the man's pain. That's nice. No, I just need a translator. <laughs> gob means mouth. Yeah, no, 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 I got that. There you go, Sydney. Thank you. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Not another mercy sex offer. Ha ha, Please. funny. No. You know that, um, uh, that nerve pinch thing you did to David that dropped him to the floor? You know the best thing about David Haywood? Is his face to the curb. Okay. Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe teach me that. Greenlee, that is a military secret. Besides, I don't want you using it on me.